Wait a minute. Wait, hold it. You can't look at my fish. How come? Give me five dollars. I don't want to give you five dollars. You gotta give me five dollars. You can't look at these fish. Then I guess I don't want to look at them. Yeah, but look, cities all across the country now. It's the latest get rich uh, quick scheme. Build a huge aquarium and collect money from people. And so I thought, hey, why not do it here in Times Square? Uh, I don't know if it's going to work. You need to go with our correspondent, Jeff Stilson, to Camden, New Jersey, Long Beach, California, and Tulsa, Oklahoma. The American city, it's always trying to make a comeback. When poverty killed Atlantic City in the 70s, they built casinos. In the 80s, when GM layoffs decimated Flint, Michigan, they built a convention center and an amusement park called Auto World. It didn't work in Atlantic City, and it didn't work in Flint. Local officials will try anything to turn things around. Casinos, convention centers, stadiums. What next? Aquariums. The U.S. already has 40 aquariums, and another 22 are proposed. From Erie, Pennsylvania, to Seward, Alaska. And why not? In Boston and Baltimore, aquariums helped revive once lifeless waterfront districts. So in the depressed city of Camden, New Jersey, civic leaders decided they should build an aquarium too. Ah, oh, I'm the pirate no beard. And I'm the pirate no name. And this be the New, New Jersey, Jersey State aquarium, aquarium at Camden. A few years ago, Camden had a 20% unemployment rate, no major industries, and the highest crime rate in the state. So taxpayers spent $53 million to build an aquarium. At first, they featured local fish, the kind that live in places like this. And this. The fish were brown, and even though they were displayed in their native environment, no one liked them. Not even in New Jersey. In looking at what people wanted, they wanted a more engaging and immersive environment, and they wanted more colorful fish. So this year, the government spent another $5 million redesigning the aquarium and filling its tanks with non-New Jersey fish. Did it work? Are there a lot of busy days? or well, Only the first few days we were here during the 4th of July weekend. Uh, Arr! Kind of slow. Lately. Since then, yes. Is the aquarium making money now? Uh, we are operationally getting closer to doing that, and we feel Ocean Base Atlantic will give us the edge that we need to get it back into that mode. Are the, would you say the people of Camden are excited about the aquarium? Oh, they're very excited about it. How has the uh, aquarium benefited the people of Camden? I can't really answer that question. I, I, don't, I don't really see anything, really. I think it's benefiting the people that's working in there and the ones who built it. Aquarium. It's not putting no, it's taking money out of my pocket. It's bad. Everything in New Jersey is bad. How long have you lived in Camden? I don't, I'm not a resident of Camden. Oh, where do you live? I live in Pennsylvania, right across the river. What's here? An aquarium. <laughs> um, you need more than an aquarium to make a city. How about two aquariums? <laughs> you need more than that. You need jobs, and you need decent houses, you need decent streets. But the failure of the Camden Aquarium hasn't stopped other cities from building aquariums, like Long Beach, California. The closing of the Long Beach shipyard will affect over 10,000 jobs. There's going to be a lot of hurt here. It's going to be, you know, it's going to, it's going to take a lot. We're hoping for some kind of a miracle. A miracle? You mean the reopening of the shipyard? No, a $100 million aquarium. Where we're standing right now is actually the location. Right now, this area is uh, an RV park. We're going to have three major exhibits. One is going to be the coastal waters of California and Baja, California, which have beautiful fish. Great idea, but will it work? Eight other Southern California towns are also planning to boost their economies with new aquariums. Do you think it will be difficult competing for the tourist dollar in this area? Nope. It's going to be the best aquarium around. Best aquarium that's around? That's right. Huh? You bet. Wow. hundred million dollars. That's, it yeah. should be a good aquarium. Yeah. At least the people of Long Beach have learned one valuable lesson from Camden. Are you going to put any brown fish in your aquarium? <laughs> I heard brown fish don't sell real well. Oh, oh you heard that? <laughs> yes. Satisfied that Long Beach was on the road to recovery, we traveled to Jinx, Oklahoma, where they're also planning an aquarium. This landlocked town of 8,000 is expecting to draw 660,000 visitors in the first year, and they're building it here on the banks of the Arkansas River. Our theme is built on as if you were a drop of water. 
The headwaters of the Arkansas actually begin at Leadville, Colorado. If you were that drop of water, it's all the different types of life uh, that it sustains as well as encounters on its way down the river, joins up with the Mississippi, and out into the Gulf of Mexico. The story of water uh, to Oklahoma is a particularly endearing story. Dust on the rampage, dust that rides in the wind. I could see why they'd have a thing about water here in Oklahoma. It's been a little slow. You have to have a drawing card from something, and that's what we're lacking here in Jinx now. Now, what do you think the aquarium will do for business in this area? Increase it tremendously. Why do you think an aquarium is important to Jinx? It's almost like a zoo. Well, we are very pleased to say that our motto is give Tulsa new life just to add water. It sounds so simple. Some water, some fish, several million dollars, and your city's problems are solved. No more worries about food, housing, or medical care. Well, that is for the fish. Do you think the fish in the aquarium live better than some of the people in Camden? Oh, the fish is in the aquarium, they got it made. I mean, I wish I was a fish. I can imagine me living in the same place as they do. And now we bring you the official TV Nation poll. 44% of Republicans say they would watch Nightline if it had a band and an opening comedy monologue. 